Who messages, messages, messages. What up, world? This is Elijah Mindset Morgano, episode number five of Creating Our Reality. And I, I really, I really felt moved to, uh, to share this message for, for a lot of people that may be scared or going, understanding why business, being happy and, and nice. And, uh, this goes out to all my vibrational beings that, like you can't just be nice when all the craziness going on, like war and gentrification and and discrimination. And let me share something with you. I am a military veteran. I experienced war. I did the twenty one gun salute. So I've experienced emotional, and I and I get emotional right now every time I think about it. I lost battle buddies. I still got battle buddies. So so like. I, I understand where uh, the distraction can come into play. I understand where the feelings and me being an African American that has ran, had a several run-ins with the with the law in my youth when, and has been police brutalized. But like literally understanding the trauma and the things that we go through, like this message is for someone that needs to understand it because the time of focusing your attention and intentions on the wrong things is not now. Like from now going into January into the summer solstice with this vibration and frequency going on you need to have a full understanding of who you are you need to have a full understanding of why you were put here and I'm gonna share with you me, not I we because I share with the fact that we are not alone there's a uh, there's an un, unseen thing that life force that operates inside of us some of them call us God some of them call us universal source we're gonna call it source today but I've been studying for the past several years in regards to just the mindset and the emotions. But at the end of the day, once you become aware and conscious, that's why consciousness is your currency and love is the climate. That's something that was shared with me. But if our attention is focused on black on black crime, if our attention is focused on anti-bullying, if our attention is focused on the war on poverty or the war on this, the intentions, the act of intention and thinking about it, the universe that we serve, the God that you serve, the God that served Jesus, Muhammad, the, those guys, they, they operate at certain things. We were put here, we were sitting here, we were sent here to do a job, a mission. And, and the thing about it is as time went on, the belief systems of our environment planted seeds that, you know what, if somebody does something wrong to this vessel it hurts me not understanding the collectiveness or the collective consciousness of what's happening so this message is right here is actually it's not my message it's our message it's the message from I don't, if y'all don't know who abraham hicks or esther hicks is or you don't know who les brown is who miles monroe is who 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 is jesus dave like like literally understanding the stories these people knew how to control their vibrational beings this vessel that we're in when you're able to control your vibrational being that vibrate at very high frequencies when you're able to control it by our thoughts feelings and emotions but when you're able to control it you're able to focus on the fact that, yeah, there is war going on, but there's more uh, uh, community development projects being being written into to the books. There's more uh, healing. There's more people becoming aware. There's more baby geniuses than there's ever been. Like literally understanding that we have access to, to touch bases in, in the entire world. Anybody that you can think about, you can look them up. You can get it. We can just reach out and touch like, but you can't. <laughs> You can't attract what you're not vibrating on. And I learned that the hard, the interesting way. Elijah, he learned that. Elijah Morgano. Elijah Abdul Samad Morgano. This vessel that I chose to come back and be. As God, like we talk about looking for our destiny and our purpose, but we all got to understand that if we came here and the world was all bells and whistles, you wouldn't be able to go through anything to understand how to achieve or pass anything on to your next generation. The world would end if it was just ease. I, every doctrine that I've ever read, there's always been a war or something going on. But now the thing about it, this thing that stood on the outside, there was always people that had a different mindset. There was always people that had thought differently. There was always people that was about to triumph. There was always a David. There was always a good life there was always something happening but only to those that believe and that vibrate on a certain frequency and I've learned this from finances to relationships to understanding yourself I've been on this journey for five years and I ask forgiveness for everyone that who I may have crossed or put in any bad seeds or karma like understanding that and I thank those that have been there from the beginning. And I thank those and I'm grateful for every blessing and lesson because I understand my emotional and vibrational frequency of me. 
A lot of people talk about positive attitude, positive mental attitude. Like there's tons of millionaires and successfuls and billion people. Billionaires talk about this positivity thing because it's, it's something about the vibration of love. It's something about the vibration of enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is Greek for <laughs> enthusiasm is Greek for entheos. That's the Greek word it stands for God within. Like understanding there's a God source that flows through us and it operates this entire body. I just did a meditation on understanding the third eye. Some people call it witchcraft. Some people call it mysticism. I call it understanding thyself. Just like you understand your car and you get a tune-up. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not saying I know about cars, but I do know it has a motor in it. In order for that motor to run, it has to have gas in it. And so I understand our vibrational beings, we're made up of Holy Spirit or light. And light is more so than energy electricity so we have a makeup just like our cell phones and smartphones where you think this came from so i share this and i talk about those things that's going on yes become aware become very consciously aware and then become aware of how you're going to change you and your environment the more you're able to have a, a, an influence on your collective environment of your collective consciousness the more you're able to so the more you're able to grow the more opportunities your heart desires they made us seem not made us. They, they, they chose the collective consciousness that are currently playing this game that we're in. They have us seeing that, you know what, if we focus on certain things, negative or positive, as long as we can keep their attention on it, to think about it is something inside of you that always wants to connect to well-being, that always wants to create, so that always wants to be able to do unto others as you want undone to yourself. So this message was just about simply shifting your focus and looking at the things that you went through, not with the lens as if, oh, whoa, as the world is going to the end. It's not. Faith and fear are two different vibrational frequencies. Faith and fear can exist on the same vibrational frequency like, like th dis discouragement, disappointment, lack, poverty, understanding that there's abundance all around. Like I literally have been extremely grateful for understanding this process. Because I, it allowed me to take full responsibility for the things in my life. From the great things that I have to the things taken away. It's all my thoughts, the emotions and feelings, the emotions that I attach to it. And the feeling is the vibration that attracts it to my or to our. Like this is going to be fun. Because the whole purpose of being able to ascend and attract and get what you want. Like sales is so hard to most people because they they are scared of rejection or uh, fear of the unknown, xenophobia. Um, but what happens is because they don't believe in either the product or service that they're selling or they don't have a belief in themselves that when, when they get around the sales, their hands start sweating, get something funny feeling in your stomach. I share this because I, <laughs> I, Elijah, we share this because Elijah have experienced several anxiety moments when it came to sales or closing the sale. But now becoming consciously aware that that fear, I can't operate there. Like it's not something that's conducive to helping my five kids. It's not something conducive to bringing in a check. So when you feel that you observe it and you get rid of it and you push through it you shift you shift your emotional vibration you you take it from you selling something to you helping somebody solve a problem and they just have to give you money because that's how the universe works equivalent exchange so those are simple things of how you see yourself and once you can shift that that perspective on how you look at yourself the rest of the world has to shift it has to it has to because at the end of the day we may not be thinking that we've created the story of our life. Uh, I made a statement about this the other day. It's about being born into poverty. Um, it's not, it may not be our fault, quote, quote, that we were born into poverty. But one of the things that I created gave us was the ability to choose. So it's definitely our fault if we die that way. So just the last little tidbit. Elevating, raising your frequencies, understanding who you are allows you to rise above when the time when craziness is happening in the world. You become bulletproof. 
And what I mean by that, and this is the thing, if you have family, if you have loved ones that you care about, it's not becoming bulletproof just for yourself. It's becoming bulletproof so that you can create a, enough collective of consciousness around you. Like, I've been talking frequencies and vibrations for over five years. I, we, Elijah has been talking that. Mindset Morgano. Remo has been talking that. But listen, like, I didn't go to any university. Like, literally, the stuff that I'm sharing is my experiences and the stuff that from people that have experienced the same thing. Like, success leaves clues, not just in wealth and business, but in the the ultimate wealth, understanding your consciousness and the energy and the feelings and the thoughts that you give to people are very, very powerful. So if you're giving all of your attention to the world coming to the end and the genocide and the, and the racism that's been around here for years, this country was built on it, understanding that it's not your fault and stop suffering, you can shift it to the solutions and the greatness that's going on in your world and the greatness that's happening and the greatness that's coming out of this. Because the thing is, something crazy may happen because it happened before. And I worked in the banking institutions for over 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 10 years and in 2008 when the stock market crashed, people lost their minds. That was and this, that was orchestrated. And I share this because it's coming back. But this time with all this energy that's going on right now, if you're vibing on that, you're I'm telling you, lower frequency and lower vibrations attract certain things. And, and, and these messages that are being shared, not just by Elijah, but there's many people around the world. I mean the world. I've, I've established a network of 65,000 globally in over 150 countries because of things like Instagram, because of things like Facebook. Facebook is turning into TV. So now the thing, the thing about it is they talk about social media being in a negative frequency and vibration. Not if you have solutions. It becomes a tool. To spread your message, to share your light, to attract, to educate, to empower. Or it could be a tool just like, yeah, it could be a tool just to destroy, to fear. So I share the things that I share to educate and enlighten. But I want you to know that there's a major shift that is happening for the good and the love. It starts with knowing thyself. It starts with shifting your well-being. And when you understand that if you hate something or it's something, it, it makes you fearful, like that's resistance against your true being. And I've been causing a lot of resistance or Elijah has caused a lot of resistance in this life. And we're grateful to be able to help him. And I'm and we're grateful to be able to help you. I said it this time last year. I just posted, everything happens full circle. said the revolution will not be televised, but it definitely will be socialized. And understanding the revolution is just a shift. Revelations, revelations. So this is Elijah Mindset Morgano with a mindset moment. Everything is frequencies and vibrations. So you catch this prayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah, ta-ta-ta-da. Jehovah Jireh, Lord, you're our provider, filling in the gap, filling in the gap, helping us get higher. Hallelujah, hallelujah, ta 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 da. Jehovah Jireh, Lord, you're our provider, filling in the gap, filling in the gap, helping us get higher. Get out your way. Allow your true self to shine through all this adversity. You are an infinite being of vibrations and frequencies and thoughts and ideas. Own it.